Hey guys, it's me Stormy and welcome to your November 2016 love only horoscope. So this month, fun, 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 love it. We're going to check in on Venus and Mars and Mars is going to be moving into our eccentric sign Aquarius. Now he's going to be here from November 9th all the way until December 19th. So what does this mean? We have Mars wanting to be friendly, wanting to make new friendships, wanting to deepen a friendship, maybe even wanting to play or do some things that are just really different, right? This can also mean that you are attracted to somebody who maybe has some qualities that normally you wouldn't be attracted to, right? And the other thing I think that this is really fun to be about is that you may feel like being more social, which is cool getting out maybe you meet somebody on Facebook and it's like oh I just friend requested but didn't think anything of it and then you start a really funny conversation or something it could really just be quirky and eccentric this month as far as Mars goes so that's a lot of fun then we look over to see what Venus is doing and she is moving her beautiful self into our very cautious earth sign of Capricorn, right? Now, what I love about this is that it'll be this way until December. So here, we can actually see commitments happening, different levels of commitment happening. There's um, this idea of responsibility where it's like, I can't just be in a relationship for no reason, or if I'm in a relationship, I need to own my part and be responsible. It's really a very responsible kind of energy that Venus moves into, but it's beautiful for helping us ground down and see the reality of some things. Maybe even to start to create some structure around a romance that's maybe just beginning or one that's going on, or even some structure around what you want to bring into your life if you're single. Now, let's keep in mind that just because Capricorn is about responsibility and just because Capricorn is an earth sign, that doesn't take the sexy out. Capricorns will tell you that they are perfectly happy to bring some sexy back. Along with having a full moon in Taurus this month, the sensuality is here, okay? This could be a fun, I don't want to say lusty, but there could be some lustiness, but there is definitely going to be some sexy that is put into this month that you're able to access and use as long as you're willing to make the effort and just kind of go with the flow. You know what they say, the universe provides when the dude abides. You gotta put that surfer wisdom out there this month, okay guys? So if you wanna see what's going up for your sign, just stay tuned. Hey Aries, so this month we have got your ruling planet Mars moving into the friendly quirky sign of Aquarius. And so what this means when I look at it is, do you have a friend that's about to become a little bit more than a friend? Or do you have a friend that maybe you've had your eye on or something like that? Because there could be some pretty sparkly attraction going on between the two of you. And it could turn a little hot. Like it could be a little hot to trot. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the other thing to keep in mind that I will caution you with, Aries, is that in this situation, look around, ground down for a minute, be sure that this is where you want to take this relationship because it could burn really hot and then really burn out. So just be mindful, look around, trust that intuition and it might be able to show you if this is a yes, let's move this forward, or no, nah, I just got a crush on you for right now. Now, if you are coupled up, I think it's a beautiful month, but maybe you um, are able to be engaged in a little bit more friendship. You find the quirks in your partner. You're like, I really like you. That's weird. I think you're funny. I didn't know you could put your toe in your elbow. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of weird, but I like you. You can also find yourself feeling a little bit more social, but it's nice because I think there may be a craving or kind of this creation of a sense of responsibility in what you're doing. Like, you're like, I'm just happy to be right where I'm at. And that could definitely go for you if you're single as well. Whatever happens for you this month, Aries, I will tell you, get out and try and be as social as you feel capable of being. Because when we get new places, we meet new faces, and new faces can create something magical in all of our relationships, right? All right, Aries, have a phenomenal month, and stick tuned because Monica's got your tarot portion. Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice, and I'm here with your November 2016 mini tarot love scopes. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so as always, keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not apply to everybody. And uh, you can watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings for additional messages. And hopefully you enjoy uh, the tarot side as well as the astrology side um, to the love scopes. 
Um, so let's just jump in. So for Aries, what we have in our current situation is the Ten of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Pentacles, this could represent a focus on family at this time. It could represent dealing with commitments, um, making a commitment this month or uh, your partner uh, maybe making a commitment to you. This could also be conversations about uh, moving in together, buying a house, starting a family even, okay? It all revolves around home, family, security, long-term goals for the relationship. And if you're single, this could represent um, a time when you're focused on family, on helping family and being there for family. Um, it could also be a time when you meet new people through family or at family events, family celebrations. Um, and of course, this could be what you're contemplating, what you're thinking of with the Ten of Pentacles in terms of your happily ever after, meeting someone who you can have a future with. And since it's Pentacles, it could represent the fact that an Earth sign is significant for you at this time, um, and Earth signs a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, your main opportunity when it comes to love this month, we do have the Strength card. So for those of you in relationships, the main opportunity for you is to strengthen your relationship, basically. It's to grow it deeper, stronger. Um, this could also be that a Leo person is your main opportunity for love, okay, for, for some of you this month. Um, if you're single, especially. Um, and I feel like for, for those of you who are single, the main opportunity for you is also to just let your hair down and just try and have fun. Until now, I feel that some of you may have been concentrated on um, concentrating on responsibilities or um, perhaps some sort of family situation that needed your attention. And so you've kind of controlled your emotions and put your views on and desires on, you know, love wise uh, to the side. And so your main opportunity is to just enjoy yourself this month. Just go out, just have fun, be yourself not worry so much about everyone else and just be present in the moment and perhaps meeting um, someone new in the process who could be a Leo for some of you and this could be their sun sign, their moon sign or their rising sign. In existing relationships, like I say, it's a wonderful opportunity um, this month to improve a relationship, to fix a relationship, um, like fixing the cracks in a relationship is what I'm getting. So perhaps having that clarifying conversation in terms of what are we doing? Where is this going? What do we want to do next? What, what do we want this relationship to be? Because it is all about making long-term plans when it comes to the relationship and that's the main opportunity. The main challenge, we have the Queen of Swords. So the main challenge with the Queen of Swords, okay, this could be um, for those of you who have been focused on other people and other responsibilities and kind of holding yourselves back from trying to find love, um, the Queen of Swords, as your main challenge, does talk about opening up a little bit. The Queen of Swords is someone who's very, very guarded, as someone who's been through a lot or is dealing with a lot currently in, in her life. And so um, her love life is not necessarily a priority. She's very guarded and very protective of herself and those people that she loves. And so your main, op your main challenge um, is to try to come out of your shell a little bit, try to lower your guard a little bit because maybe there is someone there trying to get your attention and ask you out and spend time with you, but all these responsibilities are more of a focus for you at this time and you could miss a good opportunity. So that could be something that you could look at. Um, the Queen of Swords can also represent an air sign person causing issues, problems, delays, obstacles when it comes to love for you this month. Um, air signs are Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and this could be someone who um, pretty much makes themselves a focus for you this month, for good or for bad, but since it's showing up as a challenge, I would say that they're causing issues, they're causing problems, delays. This could also be someone who is a bit bitter and maybe um, kind of injecting themselves into your love life, your relationship. It could be... Um, a mother figure or a father figure, a mother figure more likely um, trying to uh, be restrictive or not accept what you're trying to present to her in terms of a possible love mate for you, okay, is what I'm picking up on with the Queen of Swords. 
And it's also a card that talks about communication, opening up, being communicative, being honest, being open, um, accepting someone um, into your life, giving them a chance. So that could be something that you're looking at in terms of challenges. Advice for you. We do have the hangman. So with the hangman as advice, this does talk about the fact that your love life would benefit this month from a bit of a cool down period, a bit of a break, relaxation, rest, okay? I feel like you may have been dealing with ups and downs or you've had a lot on your plate or a lot on your mind. And the hangman just says it's time to just take a step back and allow for things to be what they will, okay? Um, it could also be that perhaps someone's trying to be controlling, um, either, you know, if it's your partner or someone around you or someone in your family uh, trying to be controlling or manipulative or anything like that, and you may have had to struggle with that. Um, but the hangman just says, let things be what they will be. Um, it is a major arcana card, so it does talk about divine timing um, and meeting the right person at the right time and things coming together just right when they're supposed to. And so with the hangman, the advice for you this month is just to um, open up a little bit, loosen your grip on this situation, um, and just see what happens pretty much, okay? The hangman is all about taking a step back from being actively involved in controlling or manipulating a situation, not necessarily in a bad way, um, but, you know, just trying to make it what you want it to be and just observing for a while, just seeing what happens. The hangman can also represent some sort of sacrifice in terms of maybe compromising, uh, maybe looking at things in terms of is this really crucial for me when it comes to my love life or can I live without this or is there a better way around this and I feel like that is really going to help you um, this month okay that kind of thinking is going to help you this month the outcome if you follow the advice we have the nine of pentacles so with the nine of pentacles this is a card that talks about completion uh, completion and completing a goal um, I feel that if you are discussing commitments this month or if you are currently discussing commitments then by the end of the month I feel like you will get what you're wishing for with the nine of pentacles um, the nine of pentacles also says that a lot of people are um, paying attention to who you are and what you do uh, you may have more admirers than you know um, and it's again earth sign energy so for some of you definitely an earth sign is significant here um, and I feel like if you do take the time to open up a little bit more maybe lower your guard give someone a chance because this person could be around you already I feel like you're going to be starting something by the end of the month okay getting to know someone new maybe going out maybe receiving gifts or compliments or you're giving gifts um, and paying compliments to this person um, and in existing relationships, this is abundance, stability, joy, love. Um, and again, just looking towards the towards the future, but you definitely have a very strong foundation uh, to build upon moving forward. So um, that's the mini reading that I have for you this month. Um, I do hope that it makes sense. Um, hopefully um, it helps. Um, thank you very much for being here, for joining uh, me today. And... I hope everyone has a wonderful month. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.